And I have only one real message in this lecture, and that is consciousness is a biological phenomenon like photosynthesis, digestion, mitosis, you, you, know, you know all the biological phenomena. And once you accept that, most, though not all, of the hard problems about consciousness simply evaporate. I think it's rather easy to define if you're not trying to give a scientific definition. We're not ready for a scientific definition, but here's a common sense definition. Consciousness consists of all those states of feeling or sentience or awareness. It begins in the morning when you wake up from a dreamless sleep, and it goes on all day till you fall asleep or die or otherwise become unconscious. Dreams are a form of consciousness on this definition. This is known as the famous mind-body problem. I think that has a simple solution, too. I'm going to give it to you. And here it is. All of our conscious states, without exception, are caused by lower-level neurobiological processes in the brain, and they are realized in the brain as higher-level or system features. It's, it's about as mysterious as the liquidity of water, right? The liquidity is not an extra juice squirted out by the H2O molecules. It's a condition that the system is in. And just as the, as the jar full of water can go from liquid to solid, depending on the behavior of the molecules, so your brain can go from a state of being conscious to a state of being unconscious, depending on the behavior of the molecules. The famous mind-body problem is that simple.